So why we get into uh, actuarial modeling? What do I mean by actuarial modeling? What are the various steps involved in this uh, creation of actuarial models? What are the main advantages that are typically uh, derived by creating these kind of models? What are the key uh, drawbacks or disadvantages associated uh, with respect to these models? And with a, with a key differentiation between two major types of actuarial models. We deal with two major types of actuarial models. One being the world of deterministic models and uh, other one being the stochastic models. How do we differentiate between these two kind of models? And then a little bit of uh, introduction uh, towards uh, the state space and the time dimension which we will discuss in more detail when we are dealing with the stochastic uh, processes uh, later on. And uh, how do I assess whether the model is a good fitting model or not, whatever the model that I have created, is it uh, more resembling the real world or not, right, the kind of, uh, the kind of uh, mechanism, the kind of uh, uh, actuarial model that we have created, can it be used for the future uh, predictions and future uh, uh, calculations? And uh, what kind of time frames do we really uh, get into the modeling process? Do we generally focus on short time, short term or long term kind of stuff? And what are the various mechanisms that are involved in terms of validating and verifying the model? And how are the typical results of the model communicated to all the related participants and the party parties those are some of the key things that we look at as a part of uh, this particular topic on actuarial modeling so whenever i am uh, starting out with the key steps that are involved in the modeling process i am starting out with the objectives what are the key objectives that are intended as a part of the creation of the model is my intention of creating the model uh, to predict the death rates or to design the premium for a set or for a kind of policy or uh, for uh, setting up some kind of reserves or for some kind of investment decision. What is my key objective in terms of doing this actuarial model? And whenever I am defining a model, obviously there are a set of inputs which come from various sets of assumptions and some kind of calculations that are happening on these inputs which I typically call them as process or calculations and this will result in terms of 